Um, also, the disease research right now, I think, is at a critical juncture, um, not only because of the need, but also uh, with the uh, uh, last decade of development, we, ha we, are, we have known much more than before. So um, we all know that po population is aging, um, so the need for developing um, um, effective therapy is very important now because the therapy we have now cannot, on, cannot actually uh, slow down the progression, can only treat the symptom. And um, the discovery of the, import, the, the critical uh, pathway in Alzheimer's disease occurred um, a decade ago, so we have known much more about what's going on in the um, brains of Alzheimer's patients, much more uh, than, uh, than before. So, um, because of the foundation has led, so there are m many, many more uh, breakthroughs that way to happen, um, and so I think it's uh, at a very uh, important juncture for the um, for the field. So um, my research focused on two um, <clears throat> uh, two problems that might be going on in Alzheimer's Alzheim patients' brain. One uh, I would say is what's uh, the uh, lack of clearance, meaning that um, there's not enough um, sanitary workers or efe efficient sanitary workers that are at work in the when um, a patient's brain has aged to a certain extent. So um, we will pr produce proteins and the proteins get cleared, like um, the unuseful protein get cleared by sanitary workers. Um, when sanitary workers are on strike or are sick or uh, are not working um, properly, you will have accumulation of garbages. And, uh, and that's one aspect of um, Alzheimer um, pathogenesis is um, not enough clearance of the toxic proteins or garbages, you, you would say. Um, so that's one aspect of my research is to understand what went wrong with the uh, clearance or uh, clearance pathway. Um, that lead to the accumulation of the um, uh, poisonous, poisonous or toxic proteins that accumulate in the Alzheimer patient's brain. Um, another aspect of my research focuses on this chronic inflammatory aspect of Alzheimer patients. Um, so there is um, this because of this accumulation of toxic proteins, it triggers um, a, a phenomena that uh, could be called. Um, like a chronic flu symptom. So in the brain, and it, it is characterized with um, 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 a, a reaction of some um, of an immune cell in the brain that spew off toxic proteins or toxic factors that actually leads to neuronal damage. And we want to understand what are the trick. We we want to get rid of the trigger, which would be the accumulation of those poisonous proteins. We also want to. Uh, understand how those immune cells in the brain respond to the trigger um, that leads to this chronic inflammatory status. So uh, we want to be able to understand the players in this pathway so we could develop drugs that can block those responses as if you can block um, asthma or you can block um, some kind of um, 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 you know, inf inflammatory um, response that occur in other type of diseases that uh, sometimes is reflected also in the brain.